Let's create the three circles. Control Shift C. Left click here. Here and here. We're gonna hit Escape and grab our dimension. So this one is 12 in diameter. And the middle circle is 8. Pressing 8. Hitting escape. So the relationship of the circle with this one is equal. So I'm going to select this one. Control left click. Control right click. And hit equal. I'm going to hit escape. Notice. The center point is should be aligned vertically. Same here in the middle and this one as well. So what we can do is grab our vertical constraint, selecting our center point and the center point, center point and the midpoint of the line or origin, center point center point hit escape notice that in our drawing we have a gap here between the circles so now I notice that this, this one should be 26 so double left click this one key in 26 now because of the relationship and the constraints notice that the three circles also updated with respect to our dimension 26. Now the three circles here has a has an occurrence here as well. So this one can be mirrored. Now going up to pattern, selecting mirror for the selection, selecting the three circles here and going back again selecting mirror line now for the line remember we created a construction line which is this one so selecting this one and finally hitting apply and done so pressing letter D for dimension let's specify the distance Selecting the center point and the center point and key in a value of 50. I'm gonna hit escape. So this one turned into dark blue. I'm gonna try to move this entities. Notice a while ago that we created a vertical constraint here for our circles but we forgot to add a constraint horizontal constraint here so now I can grab horizontal selecting our center point selecting this circle center point and now they are all fully constrained I'm gonna press escape 